what's going on you guys? Welcome back to another video. In today's video we're gonna we're gonna look at well you can probably tell by the title but we're gonna look at the 2019 Heisman winner Joe Burrows. I haven't heard a hell of a lot about Joe Burrows in fact I've heard nothing. I haven't heard him speak I don't know how big he is, I don't know his stats, I haven't seen him play I don't know if he can run, can he juke? Can he jump? Can he throw? I'm sure he can throw. Look guys, today today the goal is to actually work my way through the top four or five quarterbacks in college football, the top rated ones. So I'm assuming that is going to be Joe Burrows, Tua Tungavailoa, the guy from the guy from Ohio State, then we're going to have someone from Clemson, and there's also another one there as well. I can't remember exactly who they are. But the first one we're going to look at, obviously, is number one, Joe Burrows. Now, I want to give a big shout out to my, my, my friend, uh, JJ, and he uh, is a massive LSU fan. He's been trying to get me to react to Tyron Matthew for, for probably the best part of about a year. And to be honest, I think the time's come. I really do. Today, today's video is going to be about LSU. It's going to be about the, the quarterback who went from apparently not getting drafted last year to now being the prospective first pick. Like, how does that happen? I don't know how that happens. Was he... Did he play last year? I don't even know if he played. I didn't follow LSU. But JJ, I'm sure you did. And anyone else who's watching this video, I'm sure you did too. The more I, the more I do watch football, the more I, I am interested in college football. And you know, I guess for, for anyone who has gone to college or university in America, you're going to be supporting your college or university. The, the reason I couldn't the reason I couldn't get my head around the fact that a lot of you guys were telling me that people are more into college football than they are um, the NFL is because I couldn't understand how someone could follow all of those teams. And the reality is, is that you don't follow all of these teams because they're all split up into different divisions, different conferences. You're probably only going to watch you know, your old university or your hometown's games each weekend. Um, especially for those that are in a, a part of America who don't have a local professional team I can definitely definitely see how you could back you know college football more than the professionals and also and also I mean I have to mention the fact that it is amateur and that means that there are more exciting plays and that means there are more blowouts and that means there are there's you know it's more exciting much more exciting and I'm getting that finally so today we are going to focus on college football, we are going to focus on Joe Burrows and we are going to look at his journey throughout the year, his highlights, um, a couple of interviews, I want to see him winning the Heisman Trophy, I want to see his, his, his speech and uh, well, there's nothing left to do but to do it. So I assume this, this video series is going to be split into maybe three or four different videos on Joe Burrows, the 2019 Heisman Trophy winner, the quarterback from LSU. Okay, so I'm thinking we should probably start this off with some stats. Joe Burrow, not Burrows. Sorry guys, got it wrong. How old is he? That's 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 a key. 23. Okay. All right. Oh, he played for Ohio State. That's interesting. Burrow is the son of former University of Nebraska NFL and CFL player Jimmy Burrow, who went on to a coaching career that lasted nearly 40 years. The elder Burrow, whose last coaching position was defensive coordinator at Ohio University for more than a decade, retired after the 2018 season in part to be able to see all of Joe's games in his final college season. Joe was born in Amez, Iowa, while his father was on the staff at, Ohio, at Iowa State. According to a 2019 Sports Illustrated story, the Burrow athletic lineage dates back nearly a century. Sounds like Christian McCaffrey. In the 1940s, one of his grandmothers set a Mississippi State high school record with an 82-point game in basketball. His paternal grandfather played basketball at Mississippi State. His uncle, John Burrow, played football at Ole Miss. And two older brothers also played football at Nebraska. Okay. So he is a football nut. The family is all about football. And if not football, it seems uh, basketball. So Joe Burrows, I'm assuming, has a treasure trove of football knowledge. Uh, let's just see if his athletic ability matches, okay? Because that's what I want to see. 
He attended Athens High School in Ohio, leading the school to three straight playoff appearances and the school's first seven playoff victories in school history. During his career, he passed for 11,416 yards with 157 passing touchdowns and rushed for 2,000 yards with 27 rushing touchdowns. Okay, so he can run. He was awarded in 2014 the Ohio Mr. Football Award and an Ohio Gatorade Player of the Year Award. He and his Bulldog teammates went 14-1 and in that season, with their only defeat on a last-minute touchdown in the state finals. He was also a standout basketball player, and was named First Team All-State at point guard his senior year. He was rated as a four-star football recruit. He was rated as a four-star football recruit, and was the eighth-highest ranked dual-threat quarterback in the class of 2015 according to 24-7 Sports Composite. He committed to Ohio State to play football on May 27th, 2014. He redshirted his first year. He spent the next two years as a backup to, TJ, to JT Barrett. Over the two years he played in 10 games, completing 29 of 39 passes for 287 yards and two touchdowns. Realising that Dwayne Haskins would be named starting quarterback at Ohio State, Burrow transferred to LSU on May 20th, 2018. He had graduated from Ohio State in three years with a degree in consumer and family financial services and would be immediately eligible as a graduate transfer. Okay, so he didn't have the easiest of times, did he? Played backup for two years, realised that after those two years, he still wasn't going to get the starting role, and then had to transfer to LSU. In his first year at LSU, he was named the starting quarterback as a, as a redshirt junior in 2018. In an early season road trip to Auburn, he threw for 249 yards and a touchdown en route to a win. He was named the Offensive Player of the Week following the victory. He again earned the Offensive Player of the Week honours following a 292-yard, three-touchdown performance against Ole Miss. And he helped the Tigers to a 10-3 record, including a win over UCF in the Fiesta Bowl. Burrow finished the season with 2,894 passing yards, 16 touchdowns and 5 interceptions. He added 399 yards and 7 touchdowns on the ground. Well, alright then, I'm excited. I'm excited to see that. 2019. Okay, so he was again named LSU's starting quarterback in 2019. Uh, he had a great game in the first week and was named Co-Offensive Player of the Week with Tua Tungavailoa. In week two, he went to Texas. He threw for 471 yards, second most in school history since Rowan Davies' 528 against Alabama in 2001. He got Offensive Player of the Week again in September. He threw for 398 yards in a game in a 66-38 win. Uh, he became the first LSU quarterback to ever throw for 350 yards in three consecutive games. Um, and it just goes on and on and on. Plenty of records. On November 30th, Burrow helped LSU secure an undefeated regular season with, 50, with a 50-7 blowout win over Texas A&M. He threw for 352 yards and three touchdowns. Uh, during the game, he set the all-time SEC record for single-season passing yards and tied the conference record for single season touchdowns. Okay, what do we got? December 14th, two weeks later, Burrow received the 2019 Heisman Trophy. Winning by the largest margin in the history of the award, Burrow's Heisman acceptance speech, in which he referenced the rampant poverty affecting his hometown of Athens, inspired over $450,000 in donations toward the local food bank in Athens County from over 13,000 donors across the country. Oh my God. December 19, the Athens City School District School Board unanimously, appro unanimously approved a measure to rename the football stadium at Athens High School for Burrow. This is, is this an unlikely story? Did he finish his 2018 season with no interest? And then a year later, he's come in, won the Heisman, and is going to be drafted first pick in the NFL. Is this a case of a student, of an athlete, really, really maturing and hitting their peak in that final season? Or could people see this coming? That I don't know. So not only are we going to hear his Heisman Trophy speech, we're going to see his highlights from this year, and uh, we're also going to watch a couple of interviews, other interviews, from him. So I really want to get my head around this guy. If he's going to be drafted first into the NFL, you know, I want to have done my research, and I want to follow this guy's career, just like all the rest. What have we got? This final year, 
uh, 13 games, 4,715 yards passing, 48 passing touchdowns. He must have had a good offensive line, surely. Uh, what have we got? 96 attempts for 289 yards, an average of 3 yards per attempt, uh, per rush, sorry, and 3 rushing touchdowns. Okay, so he does run. I want to see a juke, I want to see a step, and then I'm going to lose it. <laughs> so with that being said, our first video of the day is Joe Burrow's 2019 Heisman season highlights. And uh, it's 13 minutes long. We do have another one. That one's got a stupid song in the background, so we're going to use this one. 13 minutes long. Let's get into it, man. It's the first time I've seen Joe Burrow's play. One thing I didn't look at. What's his height? Six foot four. 216 pounds. Okay. And that is a factor that really changes everything for me when I think about a quarterback. If they're six foot, I think, well, they look like a running back. If they're six four or six five or something like that, they look like an NFL quarterback already. And that is a great advantage. So let's get into it. Looking forward to this. I don't want sports cases, all right? Hang on, man. Where's the sound? Don't let me down, man. Burrow draws over the top and he's got it. Well, that's the first throw I've ever seen Joe Burrows make. A touchdown, Jamar Chase. Burrow to the corner. It's Justin nice touchdown. I'm looking at his size. He's 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 sizable, which is important. As a passing game coordinator. Like even just his arms, you know. They're not skinny. No, Twenty's not happy. Terrace Marshall with a touchdown grab. Four receiver look, the inside pass. It's an easy touchdown. It's another for Terrace Marshall. That was easy. Second quarter, 10 minutes to go, and they're already up 35 nil. All right, what are we doing here? What have we got? Scrimmage is on the 35. We've got two wide receivers out to the left, two wide receivers out to the right. In the two minute offense, and get this on tape. And it's going to be a fake draw. I was going to say, he looks like a big receiver. Burrow not pressured much today. He goes to the end zone. He this is too easy. He's got another touchdown. Terrace Marshall finds Pater for the third time from the red shirt senior quarter. So this must have been the first game of the year because they're showing their records last year. So both teams had a record in 2018 of 10 and 3. Wonder, well, this is a big game. Oh, what a route. Let me see that again. Cool, calm, and collected, isn't he? Whenever I see the Texas Longhorns, I instantly think of Michael Dixon. Far out, man. These receivers. These receivers, how are they getting so open? One thing I do want to say about Joe Burrows and, and my, my first opinion of the guy is he looks like he looks like he should go to you know Harvard or something. He looks he looks he looks like a straight A student. He looks like a I don't know. He looks like uh, he reminds me of reminds me of Richie Rich, to be honest. And so for Richie Rich to be six foot four, hundred kilos, and be amping up his team, I mean that's something else. Go 
Go! Oh, touchdown! So that was the first time I've really seen him step into the pocket. Looks like there was two options there. For LSU. Burrow on play action. Takes it over the middle. And across the Nice. Go! <laughs> got smashed. He got he got flattened. Um, are we gonna see some rushing touchdowns here? Oh yes we are! The gunslinger. Davis Where are you going? Back, the oh. That's threading the needle, all right. He's got John Emery Jr. in the backfield now. And Burrow lobs it downfield. Nice. Go, finish that. Finish. Oh, good run. Zone run team right now, as you see, no running back in the backfield. No running back in the backfield, let me see. Shit. Zero running backs. Three receivers to the right, two to the left, and the offensive line. What are these defenders going to be able to do? Ah, man, how did they not stop that? Zone run team right now, as you see, no nope. running back in the backfield. And a touchdown catch by Justin Jefferson. Quick tempo that time. That is the problem. If you're Jason Tarver, the defensive coordinator of teammates over the last 20 seasons with at least five touchdowns in the team's first four games. To the Go, stiff arm. Go, it doesn't need to. Good pace. The, the pace by Chase. 6.64 Oh, beautiful. Beautiful day, beautiful game, beautiful crowd, beautiful touchdown. There it is. It's just too easy right now. For passes for the first time since the first quarter at Texas two weeks ago. This is going to be a big Beautiful quick slant. Go, son. Score it. We'll take it to the house. A 51 yard catch and run for Jamar Chase. Second score of the day. Jamar Chase. And that's been done. Joe Burrow passes the chips right into the end zone. And Tracy McMath from six yards out. Okay, one thing I want to check first is what was his completion? Because we're only obviously only seeing completed passes here, but um, he had a 77.9 percentage. He completed 342 of 439 passes, and that must be a record. What is it? What does it mean if something's in bold? 4,715 passing yards. What a season! No wonder he's getting the Heisman. No wonder he got the Heisman. Pocket holds. Another end zone shot. Beautiful pitch and catch. It's Jamar Chase again. Oh, Chasey, eh? He's had defenders chasing him all day. Oh, it was a nice release, though. Not Nothing crazy. I mean, I've seen better. Pocket holds. Another end zone shot. That number 16 just doesn't. He's got no pace. Vanderbilt, come on. Burrow over the middle, pass is caught, touchdown. Oh, we'll be at the half yard line. Burrow will try to quarterback sneak it in, and does he get in? No sign just yet. And he does. Touchdown LSU. This on that one on his own read. Burrow to throw, going up top, looking toward the end zone, pass is caught! Burrow, scanning the field, pressure comes. Back across the middle, touchdown! How did he see that guy coming across? Comes. Oh, he called for it. Back across the middle, touchdown! So, how many passing touchdowns did he have? I can't remember. Uh, 48. 
48 passing touchdowns. Does that mean we're going to see 48 plays here? The play action for Burrow. Going up top toward the end zone. Jefferson is there. Makes another catch. This number two and number one are just balling out. Touchdown pass number five goes to Thaddeus Moss. They're playing fast in the red zone. Burrow zips it across the middle. Touchdown, Jamar Chase. Oh, I know that uniform. Florida. And believe it or not, an Australian punter has just been picked up by Florida from Pro Kick. So definitely check out him next year. And Burrow over the middle. Delivers a duck. Caught by Jefferson. Justin Jefferson zips a tackle. Step out of bounds. Jefferson. I don't know how he keeps beating tackles. He doesn't look very fast. His stride is huge. But he does beat a lot of tackles. Back near the forward of third. Looks like he's covered. Burrow on fakes. Oh. Watch that again. Near the floor to third. Looks like he's covered. Burrow on fix. Scanning the end zone. Rolling out. Fires a dart. Caught. Is it a touchdown? Jefferson. Can't be. What? And he did get in. Who confirmed that? Who confirmed that for the fucking ref, man? Steps up. Uh, no, we, we don't need subtitles. Chase! How did he get so open? Here he is, here. No one stayed on him. Mississippi State. Yeah! Jamar Chase. Just like that, LSU went out of school. I gotta look at this guy, man. Jamar Chase. Oh my lord, he was born in 2000! You're kidding! As a true freshman in, at LSU in 2018, he played in all 13 games. He finished the season with 23 receptions for 313 yards and 3 touchdowns. He returned as a starter in 2019. In a game against Vanderbilt, he had 10 receptions for 229 yards and 4 touchdowns. Damn! At the end of the regular season, he was awarded the 2019 Fred Beletnikoff Trophy for being the best wide receiver in college football! Ah! No wonder I'm looking him up. I knew there was something special. Yeah. Fuck, he's only in his second year. He's the kind of guy that could possibly only do another year and then go to the NFL, right? Before finishing his, his four years. Okay, sweet. So that's Joe Burrow's dad, huh? Oh! Nearly had a pick there. Twenty-ninth passing touchdown, school record, bro. He did like forty. Forty-eight. I gotta say, he loves the he loves his receivers, doesn't he? We haven't seen one running back either pass or handoff. Um, I'm hoping we are. Go, son. Enough pace, enough pace to get there. Ah, oh, Chase again. How did, how did he shake off his defender?
But his defender probably wasn't looking at the ball. He was just looking at Chase and then Chase knows that at the last second he's going to step on the inside and go behind his defender and catch that ball. The defender had no idea. Still got to catch it. Good speed. Alabama. Oh, this is a big game, wasn't it? 8 0, no, yeah, Alabama versus LSU. I was at work watching this live. For about half an hour, anyway, I don't remember seeing that. I don't actually know what the final score was either. I do remember that Alabama came back in the second half. Who is it? Jamar Chase. I had a chance to visit with them tonight before the game over the Grove. Fuck man, what? Where is Jamar Chase? Jamar Chase just must be faster than all of these other defenders. He's just getting open after open after open. Is that Jamar Chase there? Why are they not? They, fuck man, why are they not double teaming him or putting their fastest defender on him? The number one pick in the draft in the NFL next year. Justin Jefferson will win that one. Well, he actually, well, Jefferson actually put his foot down there. He seemed quite fast. And that's probably the, the closest thing. That's probably the closest thing I've seen to a running back scoring a touchdown so far. Touchdown LSU. Again, comfortably so from the seven. Barrow, touchdown. They bring pressure right in his face. He got it off. Jamar Chase breaks free. Ooh, ooh. Ole Miss got some pace in the backfield. He made a and he still gets there. Look at this guy. Look at look at number 26. He's motoring. Right in his face, he got it off. This guy. Chase breaks free. That's some nice speed. He made a great cut to the nice speed. But not enough. Oh! Where's Chase? My god, they've got two lethal receivers and one lethal tight, uh, tight end as well. Touchdown, Justin Jefferson hits Peter. Play action here for Burrow with a ton of time. Wide open man. Bro, what the fuck? Walks in. Is he that quick? How fast is Jamal Chase? Oh my lordy lord. Jamal, Jamal Chase. How fast are you, man? Seriously, 6'1", 200 pounds. Sizable. Okay, 73 receptions, 1,498 yards. That's, that's an average of 20 yards per carry. 20 yards per reception. 18 touchdowns. First in the league. It is an average, 20.5. There we are. <laughs> and there he is. You see him with the helmet on. You don't actually know what they look like, do you? There we go. Okay. Um, have we got some stats here? Got some speed. Stats, here we go. Jackson, you mm. No, not, you not those kind of stats. Uh, bio, bio, bio. No, we're going to have to go... If, he, if he's got a 4-3 something, then I understand why he's open so, so often. 40 low. Okay, so this is... Oh my god. <laughs> They're scouting him for the 2022 draft. They're saying that he could run a low of 4-4-6. 2017. Jamar Chase. Here we go. Jamar Chase. Wide receiver. He's a thick, physical receiver who was plenty fast enough in the testing portion. And the guy who just kept getting open. He kept making plays in front of and behind the defense. I should probably look at Chase's highlights, really, but I think it's... He must just be making moves on defenders and just bamboozling them. And that is something I'd like to see. Tigers. Insane, man. Who else? But Jefferson. Where 
Where is he? He's right there. Number one. What's he got? Three linebackers. One cornerback on him. You've got another cornerback back here. Another safety back here. You've got a couple cornerbacks. He's on his own 20-yard line. He's got 80 yards to go. And he just goes. And that's it. That's all there is to say. Beautiful touchdown. What a throw. <laughs> what a throw. <laughs> I feel bad for that number 29. He's just like, what can I do? I can't do nothing. Oh, he'd be loving it. So this was the last game of the season, going for an unbeaten uh, season against the number four seed, Georgia. Big game. Big game. First quarter, nil-nil. Second and ten. 20, 30 yards out. Where the fuck is Chase? No! What? Bro, this guy can't do anything. He can't fucking drop the ball. What is going on? <laughs> Damn! I want, to, I want to see Chase's route for that six or seven seconds. As good as Eric Stokes is, you're not going to cover these receivers for that. Oh, hey, girl. Whoa, band camp. 45th passing touchdown, a new SEC record. He was tied with 44. Bro, he broke the school record with 28. Take long to break that out. He was at the 48-yard line. Now the play fake to Edward Zelayer and go a deep left side line. Coverage in. Oh, nice. So he splits, he gets through. He's going to split these two defenders and turn for the pylon. We finally, finally, in the last game of the season, we see some jukes, we see some, some footwork. I don't know if they're the best ones I've ever seen, but they're still effective. Let's watch again. Yeah, definitely. Go, throw a bomb to Chase and score a touchdown. Oh no, Jefferson. Stay on your feet, Jefferson. Go! Go, Jefferson! Go, Jefferson! Make it! Get there! Oh! I tried to give him a little shake at the end. It wasn't enough. Ah. No running back. Oh, fucking hell. They love the passing game. That's all I'm going to say. All right, guys. That was awesome, but I just want to see LSU top running back and how many touchdowns he scored, because I can't imagine it'd be much. How, how do I actually look that up? Um, LSU stats 2019. Uh, right, here we go. We've got one, two, three, four, five, six running backs, it seems. Number one running back, 16 touchdowns, that's pretty damn good. 6.5 yards per carry, 1,290 total yards, 1,290 rushing yards, 399 receiving yards for a total of 1,689 all-purpose yards. 17 total touchdowns, 16 rushing touchdowns and one receiving touchdown. Clyde Edwards Hilaire. And we did not see him once. I'm bloody disappointed in that. 5'8". 5'8". He's not tall, but he's 209 pounds. So he's going to be solid. He's played three years at LSU. 
352 total attempts, 1,979 total yards, at an average of 5.6 per carry, 23 total touchdowns. Wow. Oh, he's a punt returner too. Last year returned 12 kicks, 214 yards, an average of 17.8 per return, no punt return touchdowns. Okay. Cool. Well, this video is about Joe Burrows, but at least I've got a bit of an inkling on what the running back did. So, guys, I, I'm actually not surprised we didn't see him. They're not going to show Joe Burrows just giving a, a little handoff to a running back. Right, guys, we've got three more videos to watch, and they're all to do with Joe Burrows as a man, his personality. Okay, so we've got, what do we got? Joe Burrows wins the 2019 Heisman Trophy. We'll watch that last. We've got an interview from October, the many sides of LSU quarterback Joe Burrow, and that was you know, only halfway through the season, which will be interesting. Then last month, in November, before the matchup against Alabama, when both teams were 8-0, and o, they did another interview, and then we've got the Heisman Trophy winning interview. So, one from halfway through the season, one from before Alabama, and one from when he finally won the Heisman Trophy. I'm not sure about those glasses, mate, but... I'll let you away with it. So any LSU fans out there, any college football fans out there, I really hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you enjoyed this series. We're not done yet. So JJ, I hope you're watching. And <laughs> I mean, I can't wait to see the draft. Can you? I can't. It's going to be great. Can't wait to see the Super Bowl. Can't wait to see the XFL. Can't wait to see the, the Combine. Can't wait to see the draft. I mean, it's a good time to be alive, man good time to be alive. And with all that being said, if you have enjoyed this video, hit that like button. If you want to subscribe for more, please do. We hit 100,000 subs last year. Incredible. One of the proudest moments of my life. I swear I like your style. Put you in Chanel cause it's just perfect for your smile. Girl, I swear for you I run the world, I run the mile. The way you look at me, I think I'm going insane. Wow. Yeah, swear to God I'm with it I don't see nobody in my lane It's quite go get it Like me, whoa Please don't be wasting my time with that business Who are you kidding, man? Yeah, 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 yeah I've been, I've been working to the morning, yeah, yeah. They've been sleeping, now I swear they storming, yeah, yeah. And I swear I'm cooking like a foreman, foreman uh, And my foreman jumping like a Jordan on my way Tell him I'm a lane, I've been praying Yeah, yeah, gotta say this thing, I'm the same I don't need another person telling me